16 million people. Two weeks of water left in the main reservoir. One impossible choice, stay and face collapse or abandon everything and run. This isn't a disaster movie. This is Tehran. Right now, day zero is here. Iran's president just did something no modern leader wants to do. He went on national television and told his people the truth. If it doesn't rain in Tehran by late November or December, we'll have to ration water. And if it still doesn't rain, we'll have to evacuate Tehran. Let that sink in for a moment. Not conserve water. Not rationing measures. Evacuate. But here's the haunting question. How does a 3,000-year-old city in 2025 with modern engineering and satellite monitoring suddenly run out of water? Come, let's unravel this with Tegbari. The numbers are terrifying. Tehran's main reservoir, the Amir Kabir Dam, now holds just 14 million cubic meters of water, only 8% of its capacity. A year ago, it held 86 million cubic meters. The other four dams feeding Tehran, collectively at just 11% capacity. Some, like the Latyan Dam, sit at 9% full. Surface water, gone. So what happens when a city of 16 million runs dry? You dig deeper and deeper. For decades, Iran's been drilling into ancient aquifers, water that's been sitting underground for thousands of years. Fossil water, the kind that took ice ages to accumulate and won't be coming back in our lifetime. They're essentially mining water. And once it's gone, that's it. But there's something they didn't account for. When you suck billions of gallons out of the ground, you're not just removing water, you're removing what holds everything up. The earth starts to collapse. Tehran isn't just running out of water. Tehran is sinking into itself. Parts of Tehran are sinking into the ground at up to 30 centimeters per year. Roads splitting open. Buildings developing cracks. And the worst part? This damage is permanent. Even if the rains return tomorrow, even if every aquifer refills, the ground doesn't magically rise back up. The very foundation that could save them has been crushed beyond repair. So when does survival mode cross the line into self-destruction? What do you think? Drop it in the comments. But don't scroll yet. This story gets far more uncomfortable. Evacuating 16 million people isn't logistics. It's controlled chaos. Where do they go? Who pays? What country absorbs a refugee crisis the size of New York City? This didn't happen overnight. Six consecutive years of drought. Rainfall down 40% below normal. Agriculture consuming 90% of fresh water through inefficient flood irrigation. Climate change making droughts 30% worse. Every system, dams, aquifers, infrastructure failing at once. So what's the way out of this? The options? Wastewater recycling needs billions and years Iran doesn't have. Mega pipelines from other regions, insanely expensive, politically explosive, just shifts the problem. Desalination, costly to build, costly to run, and Tehran sits 100 kilometers inland through mountains. No quick fix, no cheap solution, nothing that works in two weeks. Look, Tehran isn't alone. Cape Town nearly hit zero in 2018. Chinnai ran dry in 2019. Phoenix, Las Vegas, watching their reservoirs drop every single year with no real plan for when they bottom out. Tehran isn't the exception. It's the warning sign. So here's what we need to think about. If your city had two weeks of water left, what would you do? And why are we waiting for that crisis to figure it out? Drop your answer below. If this shifted how you see infrastructure, hit subscribe. Tegbari breaks down the engineering crisis shaping our world before they reach the point of no return. Stay curious. Stay ahead. And yeah, pray for rain. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.